It's been a pretty epic day's racing here at the Vittoria Tires Pietro Regura EWS with some really tough conditions, but let's take it back to the Queen stage, the longest stage, to see how that was won. First, what is the Queen stage? Well, normally it's the toughest, the longest, or the most iconic stage of the race. And to add to the prestige of winning it, you get points. In a normal race season, that would mean individual points towards the championship. In this rather shortened year, it's towards the team points. After race one in Zermatt, the team rankings look like this. The IBIS Enduro team lead with 980. Second, Pivot Factory Racing with 850. Trek Factory Racing, third place with 795. Stage statistics are 460 meters vertical descent, 3.3 kilometers long, but the key to this stage might be the tough little climb mid stage. It's set to be super physical, and this is the third stage of five today, and comes after 21 kilometers and 1,327 meters of climbing, and those two max efforts of the first couple of stages. So the riders will be feeling it already. Even before stage three, the team rankings were completely blown apart. Bex Barona unable to race this weekend due to illness, and Robin Walner had a big crash on stage two, broke his bike and he was out of the race. There was some heavy rain the night before the race, so some of the rocky sections were super slippy, but otherwise the dirt was really grippy. However, just as the fastest were about to drop in, there was a really heavy rainstorm. Thunder rolling around the mountains, and actually it made the trail super treacherous. Off the start, Martin Mays looked super smooth, if not maybe a little bit conservative, possibly saving energy on what was gonna be a super long stage, maybe to push harder at the bottom. But that didn't happen. On the lower half of the track, he had a big crash, cut his hand and he was out of the race. Adrian Day, Florian Nikolai and Jack Moyer all had great rides on the Queen stage in the toughest of the conditions. Rhys Werner actually took an amazing stage win on the Queen stage with eight minutes 06, just shows how long that stage is. Jack Moyer just three seconds back. Uh, I think that was definitely like the best stage of the weekend. It was pretty long, but not, not too long and kind of had a mix of everything. Stage three was definitely a bit different, but you just kind of had to be like selective of where you would push, I guess. Like the rocks were really slippery. The dirt was actually okay, but uh, like some of it would have kind of slick on top. So you just had to be careful, I think, and pick your spots. I was like pretty happy with my first two stages, but I felt like I'd rode better than the results were showing. So I was like a little bit, had like wanting something to prove. So I really laid it down on the pedals and uh, it ended up like being over before I knew it. So I think that was a good strategy. Instead of trying to pace it really, I just kind of expected to, to almost balk on it and I didn't. So that was, that was good. Final results for the race were Adrian Day first, 21 seconds ahead of Florian Nikolai in second, two seconds back to Jack Moyer. In the women's race, Isabeau Couturier had built up a 13 second lead in the first two stages over Melanie Pujan. Morgan Shah in third place, just five seconds back. It was a brilliant queen stage from Melanie Pujan, taking the points, but also loads of time. 18 seconds over her nearest competitor, Morgan Shah. Isabeau Couturier down in fourth, losing 23 seconds. And now Melanie Pujan into the lead of the race, 12 seconds ahead of Isabeau Couturier. Isabeau definitely suffering with that injury. She has some ligament and bone damage in her ankle. Her doctor said it was okay to race, but she's definitely suffering. There you go. That's it from the Vittoria Tires. 
Pietro de Gura EWS. Everyone's packed up, as you can see, the piazza is back to normal, and they're heading just down the road, five kilometers to Finale de Gura, for next weekend's race, where, of course, the team championship's gonna be wrapped up. Someone else is gonna win the Queen Stage and that race as well, so lots more exciting things to come from the EWS. Hopefully you've seen all our videos so far, things like the preview, the shakedown, and of course, the big one, the race highlights. Well, keep your eyes peeled. You don't have to wait long for all that coming from Finale Gira. See you soon.